Okay, so for the installation, I believe all the tools that you require comes with the kit itself. I'm gonna install the bracket that goes on to the cafe fairing first. One thing I noticed was that they have a spelling mistake right here. Sporster, it's missing a T, but whatever. Open it up. <laughs> My unboxing is not as graceful as some, but I do get the job done. Don't know what this is, but there's only one of them. Oh my God, this packaging. Okay, just do it quick glance of things. Additional tools required that are not included in this kit. 7 16th or 11 millimeter, 13 millimeter, 14 millimeter wrench. Wow, that's a lot of things. Okay. What's this? Oh no, you have to do that. Rubber boot, adjust cable adjuster, jam nut. <sighs> I was hoping I didn't have to reroute it. Okay, we'll figure that out when we get to the bike. First, let's get this mounted. Guess I need to get the last one out. I'm not gonna lie, the packaging is quite annoying. Throw that all away. Get out of here, garbage. Make sure I don't scratch anything. This is the rubber mount that's gonna go in between these holes, so these are not hand tight. I gotta go get myself a wrench. All right, so now I got my trusty socket tool. Okay, so for these ones, it's 11 millimeters or 7 16th, but I always find the metric a little bit tighter. And let's see how it loosens up. This guy too. And then, and then we'll just take it all off by hand after that. Here we go. And then this rubber mount here needs to go through this with the cap on the outside. I think it's easier if you just take the rubber side off and then just put the rubber mount in first. Yeah, it's much easier that way. Okay, there you go. And then you put this end cap in. We'll do it for the other side as well. And then line it up. It'd be nice if this came already mounted. I don't want to over tighten it because everything is plastic. I don't want to crack it. So it is fairly tight. Now, I don't know if I have to explain this or not, but make sure that this hook is facing downwards. So if you're putting it like this, then you obviously put it backwards and you will just have to do it again. There you go. Bracket onto the cafe fairing is now on and yeah, she's, she's fairly sturdy. I don't think that's gonna come off. And now what we gotta do is put these onto my bike and hopefully it fits. Okay, so it's time for the installation of the Memphis Shades Cafe Fairing onto my 2020 Iron 883. Pretty simple process, but there are some key steps that you need to know that I'm gonna teach you on this how-to installation video. So first things first, Within the kit I showed you before, you got four pairs of the mounting bracket, four screws that's gonna attach all that onto the forks of your bike. And then you have this spacer here, which I didn't know originally what it was for, but now I realize this is actually a really important item for your headlamp to allow enough space for your cafe fairing. Plastic piece here to go in between your headlamp here and the cover on top. So. This spacer is a must, and I'll show you how to put that on as well. And then to get access to your headlamp mounting screw here, you'll need a flat screwdriver to open up the top cap, which I'll show you right now, like so. And then inside, you're gonna have to loosen the bolt here using a three quarter inch socket, like so. Now, before I begin, just as a full disclosure, I do have a four inch riser installed on my Iron 883, and this helped out a lot because what I realized was that when you put on the cafe fairing onto the bike itself, the signal light actually gets really close to the corners of 
the cafe fairing. So that's something you gotta look out for because I'm guaranteeing you that if I didn't have the four inch riser and it was at the stock height level, this would have gotten in the way and I would have had to relocate these turn signals. So that's just something for you guys to take note of. But the good news is I did not have to rewire anything. So that was a big plus. So without further ado, let's get to the installation. <laughs> Okay, so one of the things that I learned doing this many times was that you want this ring and the mount to be facing towards the back of the bike. So when you mount it, it needs to look like this and you're screwing it in the front. I know the manual says something different, but for this particular bike, which is the Iron 83 from 2020, having both top and the bottom looking this way and screwing in front works the best and makes everything look flush. So that's how I do it. And if you find something different, please leave it a comment below and let me know how I did it wrong. But for me, this is the way it works. Now, the way you install the male end to the female end, once you have it attached to the bike itself like this, all you gotta do is slide the male end into the female end like so. And what I found the most fitting was the second notch from the end right here is the one that fits for the Iron 883. That. And then all you gotta do is put the screw in. Now you'll see that I have some painter's tape here as a guideline so I don't forget where the best spot is for mounting your Memphis shades. Now, if you're doing it for the first time, you don't wanna over tighten this because you need to have a little bit of wiggle space to move this around so that the mounts are lined up perfectly for the attachment of your Memphis shades. So now I'll go ahead and do it for the remaining three brackets. Now, before you put on the shade itself, you gotta put in that spacer in between these two areas here. And only way to do that is you gotta take off the cap here with the flat head screw, pop it open like so. You'll see a bolt that is three quarter inch. So take a three quarter inch wrench and then loosen her up. And just be careful because this will fall off once the bolt is off, like so. And then what you wanna do is you wanna put the spacer on top like so and then put her back into the hole and this is also the time that if you don't like the angle of your headlamp if it's too high or too low this is the time that you can adjust that nice and tight and then you want to put the cap back on top so it doesn't come out like so and then so at this point once you have the four mounts loosely put in what you want to do is start sizing it up with your latches here the male end here will go in between not the far end but in the middle as you can see here on both top and bottom and this part takes a little bit of trial and error but once you have it lined up properly like so what you want to do is make sure you don't move it too much and then you tighten the area in place so that it doesn't move when you're about to mount it for good now it's tight so it won't move good and then here's the fun part which is align this with the headlamp here so that the plastic area does go above the headlamp which is quite important so i would line that up first and then once it goes in you start wiggling around until you find that sweet spot and i'm saying sweet spot because it's really fucking tiring I'm trying to get this in there you go once it's in you can now lock it by using this latch click it in and then you can do the same thing on the other side like so and then as you can see because of the spacer in between the headlamp and the the cap now you can have this plastic thing going all the way in so that everything here is flush as well as i mentioned before you can see that this plastic part is actually touching a bit of the turn signal which is a bit of a caution on both sides. So this worked out for me barely because I have a four inch riser, but if I didn't have that, if it's down here, then all of this might have gotten in the way of the uh, fairing itself. So keep that in mind when you install this and remember that you need a lot of patience to get this installed. So hopefully you guys enjoy the unboxing and the installation of the cafe fairing from Memphis Shades on my Iron 883. It does take a lot of patience and trial and error trying to get these bad boys clicked in but once you have it on it looks fairly good and i can tell you that it has rejuvenated my love for the iron 883 so i'm going to be talking about the review in a later video and if you haven't subscribed yet please click that like and subscribe button ride safe ride prepared ride on peace